Hey guys, here we are at DC Autotronics in Escondido, California, 760-715-2404. As we promised, a um, bunch of cool stuff for 2017, so let's get started. We want to introduce you to Banda Auto Parts from Brazil. Um, for those of you that haven't been following us lately about Sound Digital, well, we just no longer carry it. Um, unfortunately, things could get worked out between us and them, so we no longer carry it. Um, but Sound Digital is still, in our opinion, one of the baddest amplifiers out there from Brazil. At any rate, let's get you, um, let's get you some more insight on the Banda Auto Parts um, series from Banda. So there's quite a few series. I know if you go online, you guys will see it. There's the I series, there's the D line series, the Expert series, the Viking line, and so on. Um, I'm going to introduce you to the Ice line. Um, I do not have any Viking lines here. This is the Ice line and also the D line. So, what? Who are these amplifiers? Where are they built? What's the deal? Why are we selling them? Okay, Banda is um, a company out of Brazil. Um, we were actually going to release this line next year, but we had to step up because we no longer carry Sound Digital. So that's number one. Uh, Banda, in our opinion. Um, their amplifiers are just, how can we say it, just better built, um, better castings, uh, just, you know, things like this plastic cover, you don't have to, uh, excuse me, plastic covers, positive negatives on opposite sides, I mean, the grill, excuse me, the heat shrink grills, are, they're just, you know, they're just different than the um, sound digital amplifiers that we were carrying. We cannot speak for Teramps and Stetson because we don't sell it. So, this is the Banda line, guys. In our opinion, this is more of a high-end brand coming out of Brazil. Um, how long has it been around? Probably about three or four years now. Uh, this will be the third year now coming out, I would imagine. Um, at any rate, again, for those of you that have been watching, we were going to release this amplifier next year, but we had to release it sooner because we no longer carry Sound Digital. All right. Uh, with that being said, we were going to carry Sound Digital and Banda, but unfortunately, it never worked out. Sorry about that. I don't mean to talk so much, guys. Okay. So let's get busy. Uh, we'll start with this badass ICE 4, 401. It actually should be called 4000.1. But this is the 4000.1. And for those of you that are not familiar, these amplifiers work on 12.9 volt system. Again, 12.9 volts. Excuse me. On their website and online that you guys see it, uh, on social media, it says 12.6. I'm gonna rate it at 12.9. Um, so at any rate, you can see how they have positive and negatives on the on the opposite sides, which I found pretty cool. So you don't have them side by side and blowing shit up. <laughs> so at any rate, just a quick view, and of course it has a plastic cover. Yes, the plastic will come off, but you don't need to take it off. Just screws on the top, and bam, bam, bam. So check out these cool grills, heat shrink grills, anyway. All right, and this is gonna be a long video, so pull up a chair. <laughs> So that's the uh, input and the uh, signal control, and it only has one uh, input for uh, signal. That's pretty cool. So this is the 400 by one, the 4000.1. This is the 4000.2. This is a two ohm um, version, and this is the one ohm. Same power, same everything except two ohm, one ohm. So let's jump over to the 3K. This would be the 3K, the ICE 3K anyway. Same thing with the inputs. Sorry, it's kind of bright outside. Um, so there you have that. And then I'm gonna jump over to the 1200.1. Again, clip indicator. <laughs> and for those of you that have been watching us, you know how we've been uh, saying and, and can't emphasize enough about how these amplifiers should operate, how to operate them, and signal and so on and so forth. And I'll get to that in a later video. Right now, we just want to introduce you to some of the amps that will be the most common amplifiers, I think, that will be sold a lot. So this is the 1200 by 4 It's a 50 fuse. So this amplifier does 1200 RMS at 85% efficiency at 12.9 volts. The 4000.1 and the 4000 point, well, the 4002 ohm and the 4001 ohm. This does um, 
4,000 at 12.9 volts at 85% efficiency and so on and so forth. 3,000 down to the 2,000 and so on. And then again, up to the 5,000, the 7,000 and the 6,000 and the 8,000 and so on and so forth. So let's get to some four channels. All right, and some two channels. Here is the most smallest um, 250 by two, which is a two channel. This will be going in a customer's vehicle here locally. And uh, it's a see-through, pretty cool. And you guys can see more pictures and whatnot on social media, what you mean, what Facebook and whatnot. So well, how much power does this thing put out? It puts about 97 or 96 RMS at 85% efficiency at 12.9 volts. So we'll jump over to the 2.4D. This is also a 2.4D. This is a black series. This is a see-through. This, uh, this amplifier will be going in our demo vehicle because our demo truck, all the sound digital product is out and this is going in their replacement. So this has a cool see-through. Again, a little bit lower so you can see the um, RCA inputs and adjustments. How much power is this bad boy? This does about 300, excuse me, this does about 92, um, 92 RMS at 12.9 at 85% efficiency. So you will see 92% at 12.9. Same with this, same thing guys. This, this is a black and that's not. Then we'll jump over to a 600 by four. <clears throat> which does four by 200. So at 85% of that, you'll probably see about 192, 190 RMS of power at 12.9 volts. Again, this is 50 fused. It puts on, uh, these are four gauge inputs, by the way, I apologize, four gauge inputs. Uh, this is a four gauge input. Um, of course, the 4,000, the 4,000, the 3,000 are one out inputs. So again, this does about 192 with 85% efficiency. So we'll jump over to the 600 by four. <clears throat> this does 150, but at 85% efficiency, you're probably maybe like 138, 135, roughly around there, 85% efficiency at 12.9 volts. And this has a 30 amp fuse with the four gauge inputs. And then of course, this is also going in the demo vehicle. This is their uh, big 12.4 which is 300 RMS, but it probably does about 290 because of 85% efficiency. This is going in the demo vehicle. So the 4,000.1, the 12 by four, and the 250 by two are going in the demo vehicle. This also has four gauge inputs. Really quick, uh, let's jump over to this amplifier here. You can see that it has fans. Well, maybe you can't, oh, there you go. It has a fan in each corner. This is the 4000. You can see the fan there. So again, these amplifiers have some cool features that the other amplifiers don't have from Brazil. Again, and, and really quick guys, they're small, but they're heavy. These are not light. Metal man, these things are heavy, okay guys? So keep that in mind, even the small bad boy, it's, it has some weight on them. Really strong amplifiers, guys. Really, really, really strong amplifiers. So um, again, these amplifiers run off 12.9 volts, guys, at 85% efficiency, at 0 0.007. That's pretty good, it really is. All right, guys, stay tuned. You know we're gonna shoot a lot of more video with these amplifiers. They're also going in cars, by the way. So um, if you guys have any questions about these amps or would like to become a dealer or would like to carry these amps or even get one or two or three or four, give us a call, 760-715, excuse me, 760-715-2404 or dc.autotronics at gmail.com. Stay tuned, guys.